What's up, my family? Listen, first time listener, or you've been here the whole damn time. Hit that like, hit that subscribe, giddy up, let's go, enjoy the clip, no notes. Much yeah, yeah. was on the players to do whatever it took to stay on the field. That's a great point you make. Okay, so I was way ahead of the curve, obviously, like I always am. And I've always figured out a way to, you know, there's not, it's another story. But but when it became relevant, okay, like, now what are you going to do? The guy next to you is on him. He's fucking, fucking, fucking looking bulked up. He's strong. He's cock strong. And you're going to say, well, uh, you know, I'm going to be a good guy and not do that. What? You got a family. You got you, you got to support. You got a chance to make money you'll never make in your life. What are you going to do? Not not take him? I mean, only a fucking idiot would do, would do that. Or a fucking pussy, you know what I mean? Or a pitcher. The pitchers are all pussies anyways. But, but yes, yeah, so, so you're right, dude. Because the guy next to you took him to keep your job, you you, you did it what you did it too. And Major League Baseball knew all about it, dude. And remember, because it, it came hard after the strike in 94 when ba everyone was down on baseball. So, what's your uh, thoughts on this? So, I've, I've, always, I've always had this in my head, and I have to say, while we're talking about the steroid era, right? That Barry Bonds watched Canseco and Sosa. Or not can say go McGuire and Sosa put their little home run tour on and sat back to himself and said, Wait a second, I'm I'm the best player in baseball and you guys are hitting 60 plus. And it goes sort of to your to what you were saying. Well, watch, watch me go be the best player in the league. Right. And and yeah. it, for me, it felt like it led to that that competition of wanting to be, and you know what it takes, right? The level of uh, what it takes to be great. And when a guy feels yeah. like I'm the best player in baseball and, and you know that somebody else is it's taking steroids, and that's why they're hitting 60 home runs. He said, watch this. I'll go hit 72. Yeah, so you're on point again, dude, because, look, there's two – when you when you talk about Barry Bonds, and by the way, I kind of I kind of told him how to do it because he's always used to ask me, like, you know, what, what are you doing? But, but let me talk – I'll tell you about Barry Bonds. <clears throat> the biggest the, – the, the, the best player in the history of baseball to ever put on a uniform, the biggest dick in the history of baseball to ever put on a uniform, okay? So, like I said, but – at the end of the day, look, if you took his first 10 years in fucking in Pittsburgh alone, he's at the fifth best numbers overall. He's a Hall of Famer. Yeah, I mean, I mean, the Hall of Fame's a fucking joke, dude. I mean, what the fuck? You have the three best yeah. players. The three best players in the history of baseball aren't in the Hall of Fame. Come on, really? Fuck. I mean, P, uh, look, Pete P Rose, I mean, kind of got a little carried away there betting on his fucking team there. Um, but still, what he did, though, like I got my first hit in big leagues in Cincinnati, and he was playing first base. So, and I got the first. And he said, "Congratulations, kid! You only got four thousand to go to catch me." <laughs> wow. Schilling, Schilling. Okay, you know when Schilling pit, Schilling was kind of about Schilling. He was an IME person, but listen, the motherfucker was the best big game pitcher, and he could pitch. And and look. And we always knew what was going to happen. We had a chance to win every time he went out there. We knew he was going to throw strikes. And we knew I was going to get out of there in two fucking hours. Unless Mitch fucked it all up. And then then everything fucking got all fucked up. Then my pussy had to wait. It was a delay. Everything got delayed. Just big problems. So so all my all my all my road chicks loved it when 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 fucking Schilling was pitching because get out of there. Yeah. So so Schilling. So one time. You know, he's pitching. He always used to come up to me and say, "Hey, dude, how you feeling tonight, man? You gonna know, score a couple of runs?" And one of the players says, "Oh, shut up, fucking shilling. Why do you care about yourself?" I said, "No, you shut the fuck up." I said, "I wish I had five fucking motherfuckers, motherfuckers that just cared about themselves, okay? Because we're not here to break. Can't be friends with everybody. The fucking guy, he makes us. You know, we have a chance to win every time he goes out there. This ain't a fucking love fest. I wish we had five other guys that fucking cared about themselves like that." Because it's all about performance and results. At the end of the day, it's about results, okay? And if you don't get them, you get fucking fired, okay? And then if you get them, then you get to keep going, okay? You want to stay out till 5 o'clock in the morning partying? Okay, you better get on the base and get some hits. Or guess what happens? It's not, see, if you do succeed, it's a joke. They will, people laughing, oh, man, he's out all night. So, now, when you don't succeed, they're not laughing anymore, okay? So, yeah. so, so the same, same, thing, same thing as my buddy. Don't get caught. You know, your cock, not my pussy. You know what I mean? 